going on everyone hope you had a good weekend hope you've been able to see joker um if you haven't checked out if you haven't checked out my review for that movie there is a non-spoiler review on my channel so head over and check that one out um highly recommend seeing it if you have not absolutely amazing movie <laughs> you can hear more of my thoughts in the review video for that also check out the links in the description and shout out to everyone who supports the channel thank you um, <clears throat> so as most of you have probably seen on social media, there have been pictures, more, a couple more behind the scenes pictures from Justice League floating around. The first one that I came across was the behind the scenes photo of Henry Cavill without the CGI face. Um, of course we know he had to keep his facial hair for the Mission Impossible Fallout movie while doing the reshoots for Justice League. Turned out to be horrible CGI to remove it from his face for Superman. Obviously, I would have 100,000% rather have had Superman with facial hair than the CGI horrible stuff that we got in the movie. Um, it would have just been, it would have looked so much better. Like, I understand that they wanted him to have a clean shaven face because Superman doesn't usually have facial hair. Except when he comes back to life and he does. So it would have worked in this case. Like, they, it didn't have to work against them. They could have kept it, and it still would have been accurate, if that's what you want to call it, for Superman. You know? And plus, it still it would have made sense because he was... But, of course, he wasn't, like, 100% deceased, right? He still had life to him. So he could have been growing facial hair. It would have made sense. It would have made more sense for him to have facial hair than not to, you know, because of the state that he was in. So, I don't, it just, I don't understand. I don't understand how they approved what we got on screen, the way he looked. It was absolutely ridiculous. But I think most people would agree that the facial hair Superman, the mustache Superman looked a thousand times better than the CGI Superman face. So there is that picture behind the scenes of Justice League. And then there is also um, some pictures of Diana, Wonder Woman, finding images of the ancient battle with Darkseid. <clears throat> um, we've, seen, we've seen some of this a little bit. From, we've seen um, Diana, what looks like she's in some kind of tomb or something. And she comes across these murals, but now we see it from a, we see more of this scene in this, in these new photos. Um, so we get a little bit more of that. We know that they changed the history battle scene. It wasn't supposed to be Steppenwolf. It was supposed to be against Darkseid, but obviously we didn't get any of that. So, um, and of course Zack Snyder has shared photos of, you know, uh, sketches or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> it's like kind of CGI looking things of Darkseid. He was supposed to be at the history battle. And so, um, of course, if we don't get that, then we can't have Diana, Wonder Woman, finding these murals of the ancient, uh, of the ancient battle on Earth with Darkseid because then it's not going to make sense anymore. So we got the little voiceover of her explaining to Bruce what happened and the, you know, the mother boxes and explaining all of that. Um, <clears throat> but um, I'm not gonna go on a rant in this video about Justice League like I usually do. Just wanted to share those images since they've been going around. Again, I don't ever, I try not to get my hopes up too much about ever getting the Snyder Cut just because I don't wanna be disappointed if all of a sudden, you know, Warner Brothers decides to come out and says like, oh no, you know, it's never going to be released or something like that. They've never made an official statement of yes or no, maybe nothing like that. And so me, I just try to, I like to be optimistic about it, but at the same time, I don't want to say, oh yes, 100%, they're definitely going to, no, because we don't know that, you know, we don't know that they're not ever going to either, but I just like to stay cautiously optimistic about it would we love to see it of course we'd love to see it would we pay to see it of course which is why they're idiots for just sitting on it but you know we'll see what happens um i know that Zack snyder sees all the love and support he posted a thank you picture on vero for the 
um, you know, like all the displays that people have on, you know, bus stops and stuff like that. And of course the one in Times Square that was running for 12 hours, absolutely amazing. So he sees the lengths that these, just a fan base is going to, to show their support for this and to try to get Warner Brothers attention. But like I said, we'll see what happens in the future. In the meantime, we'll continue to get all of these images that either get leaked somehow or Zack Snyder decides to share them. And we'll just continue to get upset every single time we see something that we could have had or the way it should have been, right? So anyway, thanks again for supporting the channel. Check out my Joker review if you haven't yet. Absolutely amazing movie. Go see it if you haven't. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Um, but other than that, thanks guys. See you next time.